Uh, what draws people to the sport, I think, is it could be a combination of things. I think a majority of people uh, either are involved with a northern breed, like a Siberian Husky or a Malamute, and maybe showing them or something like that, and then they, they uh, kind of just evolve into doing what the dog was bred to do, and that's being a sled dog. And they may start out as a recreationalist, and then they get bit by the bug. They want to go doing more races and having a bigger kennel, more dogs. The dogs are out in front of the sled or out in front of the skier. And when the musher's on the trail, he's pretty much keeping an eye on the team to make sure they're all staying lined out, running well, running the way they want them to run. And um, also being aware of where they're at on the trail, so they stay on the trail. We have people out on the trail to help them at checkpoints and stuff, but they got to make sure they stay on the trail. And then, um, you know, they're watching out for the safety of their dogs and everything. Um, because most of the classes are, it's a race against the clock, but they go in one minute intervals. So one after another, one minute apart, they will catch each other out there. So they have to also deal with getting clean passes in and working with the other teams as they're on the trail. So. A lot of it is people that love winter sports, love being in the outdoors and uh, they may just see it, come to a couple races and say, yeah, this is something I'd like to try. And of course, have a strong interest in dogs and working with animals and, and all that.